is our dark bus, also 15. And last but not least, we have got our dark whistles, which are only $5, make you sound exactly like a duck. Lots of fun for the parents. I do have an F-Plus machine available on board if you only have card. If you guys would like a photo of your group, I'd be more than happy to take one, so just let me know. Now on the right hand side here we have the first of our canals branching off our waterways here. This is just a little short canal. You can see it down the end past that second boat there. Uh, some of our canals do stretch out four kilometres. And we've actually got more canals on the Gold Coast than Venice and Amsterdam combined. Just under 400 kilometres of canals here on the Gold Coast. Normally we've got black swans and pelicans swimming in that one, but uh, they must be out sourcing our food elsewhere. Uh, on the right hand side now, this is the most expensive real estate in all of Southport. This is called Southport Park. Uh, you've got 12 homes to choose from along here. Average price, $10.5 million. Yeah, so as I'm saying, it's up there. Uh, this one here with all the chimneys on it, the big two-story place here, just about beside us. Uh, it's got all those chimneys and the five French doors. That one's $21 million. It's built on one and a half acres of land. It's 2,200 square metres of house. Six bedrooms, seven bathrooms, seven fireplaces, a seven-car basement garage, two-story library and an indoor lap pool. Yeah, not bad. Not sure who that one is. This one here belongs to Bill Barry Cotter. He started the Riviera Marine Boat Building Company way back in the 70s. You may know of the Riviera Boats. Uh, exported them all around the world. Uh, he started the company in the early 70s, sold it in early 2000 before the GFC hit. He got $180 million for the company. He then built that place. Up further there to the right is the grounds of a boys only private boarding and day school. It's called the Southport School, known locally as TSS. And that school's been going since 1901. Situated on 110 acres of prime real estate land. Twice the size of SeaWorld. Speaking of SeaWorld, that cream house there, in between the two white ones, with the red terracotta roof tiles, that used to be Keith Williams' place. He's the, he's the guy that started SeaWorld. He built that house on two blocks. It was actually three blocks. The, the house to the left for sale used to be the garden. But the previous owners that bought it and subdivided it, built the house on that. This is all paradise waters here on the right hand side. This is a wealthy suburb in its own right. Some really nice big homes along here. Coming up on the right hand side now, you've got this big white house here behind the boat. Uh, he sees his own helipad. And yes, he is legally allowed to land the helicopter there. He's also got a World War II land cannon underneath the back deck as well just to keep the peace. That was on the market a few months ago, about a whole house, 16.25 million. As I said, Paradise Waters is quite a wealthy suburb in its own right. Lots of wealth there. Uh, this is where we see, we're going to go through Main Beach uh, after this, and we'll go down to 